eating the fish has been part of my life since I was a kid. So I tried to include rest for pretty much all the cooking methods, your air fryer, pan frying, deep frying, blackstones, triggers, it's all on. I use them all. The cool thing about fish is there's so many different ways to cook it. Hey, and Sarah, I am from Pierce, South Dakota, and we are in the middle of nowhere. And there's basically three reasons why anybody lives here in that state government or the state capital, even though we don't even have a target, fishing and hunting. So we have the Missouri River right in our backyard and Lake Oahe. So that provides salmon, smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, bluegill, crappie, have awesome fishing here. So I'm very thankful to have grown up eating fish. My dad taught me to fish probably when I was 10 years old. I uh, didn't start fly fishing until about four years ago though. So most of it has been spin fishing, but eating the fish has been part of my life since I was a kid. One of the ways that my mom always made fish is super simple. It doesn't even involve eggs or anything. You just literally dip your fish in some flour and whatever seasoning you want. So I liked equal parts of garlic, salt, and lemon pepper and put flour in there. You don't even have to. You can just season your fish. That's the cool thing about fish is there's so many different ways to cook it. And it, I know people get frustrated when somebody tells them I don't measure, just do what you like, but it really is what you like. And you're going to have to figure that out. But that's the cool thing with this is it's so flexible. You can, there's so many options, but this is what I like to use. And so use it as a starting point and then just go from there. And that's the thing. I'm a foodie. So I like to cook and I like to have kitchen gadget. And so I tried to include rest for pretty much all the cooking methods, your air fryer, pan frying, deep frying, black stones, triggers. It's all on. I use them all. Um, let's see. So this one, this is the most simple way to do it is just coat your fish in a little bit of oil and then season it. You don't use any flour or anything and then you can pan fry it in butter. The fish that I eat typically is walleye and you don't really want to cover up the flavor of that fish because it's just incomparable to any other fish. It's amazing but it's really delicate and so I use just a little bit of seasoning and a little bit of lemon. Elton Brown has got an awesome beer blanc sauce. Sounds fancy but it's really just butter and cream and some citrus which is amazing and I highly highly recommend you try this um blackened fish and I didn't put like what kind of fish this is for because like the blackened seasoning is on salmon you can use it on the white fish on pretty much everything and the cooking method here works for pretty much all the different kinds of fish as well and don't get intimidated don't come in here and say oh this has time in it I don't like it I'm not gonna try it if you don't like one of these leave it out because you don't have to use any of it this is what I like the air fryer is one of my app favorite ways to cook fish I have my air fryer that sits on my counter and I use it almost on a daily basis and I eat fish probably three times a week just because it's here in my backyard and I catch it all the air frying fish so easy and so quick really there's it takes 20 minutes and you have an amazing meal and you can cook your vegetables and everything right there in your air fryer. So it's quick meal. Being from South Dakota, one of our most popular things to do in the summertime is to go camping and we have fish fry. And so I included some of my batters. Hers are absolutely amazing and I cannot wait to try Patricia's. I have never heard of the mustard thing, but I'm excited to try it. So here's a couple other ones. There's a beer batter and here's a dry batter that, and it's amazing. The key here with these, I like to sprinkle Lowry's garlic salt on it as soon as it comes out of the fryer. It makes it ugh, amazing. Just have to try it. Here's the Traeger recipe and I included the link of where I got this recipe and I don't change it. I love it the way it is. It's perfect. It's delicious. Quick. If you want to impress somebody, I would say try this recipe, this pecan honey walleye. Pretty amazing. I, I can't even, I kind of want to go make this now, but this is probably one of my top three recipes and people always just love this when I make it for them. This Creole fish is probably one of my other favorite ones and I know in the culinary world it's kind of taboo to use these with food but it is amazing on this dish and I typically use perch um, is my fish that I like to use in this recipe but it works with any of them as well and I know here's another one which but this is a dip and it is really good to take to a social party or whatever people can't believe that I put walleye in a dip but I do and it's amazing so these are the recipes that I shared I have so many that I could share I could probably do a whole book but my problem is I don't measure it's all about looking and how things and this should get you started 
I mean, don't be intimidated. It's so good. And I hope you guys try everything. What a great presentation. This was a lot of fun. I learned so much. <laughs> and it's different, which I like too. You know, it's pretty cool to learn new things and see and, and just be different. Be di being different is good. <laughs>